Hey guys, Country Kazu here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we started the post game and figured out that Celia wants some gems, and we got the Gooby and the stuff, and yeah. Now we need to go get the Sapphire, which is basically the other one. Would you get it, Gooby? Sapphire? Get, get it? Yeah, anyway. Well, let's go in numerical order. So, let's go to Full Island, shall we? Interesting music. I wonder, can you check these? I wonder what those are. These panels. I have no idea. But whatever. Let's go on to Four Island. <gasps> Gary! Rival battle? Maybe. Hey, Lucasio. What are you doing here on the Sevi Islands? You, you should quit copying me, you know? Anyway, I already got my Pokemon eggs, so I'm done with this island. Hey, I bet you don't even know about Pokemon eggs. You'll never fill your national Pokedex that way. By the way, I saw someone we both know on this island. Why don't you go look around if it makes you curious? Me, I don't have time to waste. Be smelling ya. Well, that was certainly interesting, but anyway, this is Four Island. It's nice. Yeah, and there's some things here. You can't swim because the current's too high. There's also a rock smash thing, which I can't get past, so yeah. Now, Pokemon Eggs is an interesting thing he talked about, which is this right here. On the daycare man. I help take care of precious Pokemon trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, I have a word with my wife. So if you remember that person south of Southern City, this is basically a double poke this is basically a double Pokemon daycare. And the thing about double Pokemon daycares is is that if you have two Pokemon, one male, one female, I don't think it matters how, so much as to which Pokemon they are they can sometimes produce a Pokemon egg. I believe there are certain types, like monster, water, and all that. I don't know the exact specifics, but I believe if you leave two of a certain type in here, you'll get another one of that type. And then the Pokemon, how Pokemon eggs work is then you run around and all that. You run around until it hatches, and then basically it hatches into a level one Pokemon. And then you can raise it up and whatever. Ah. Uh, I can, I can try it. I can just deposit two random Pokemon. Let's see here. I need a male and a female. I could put in Lapras and someone here. Chansey! Sure, why not? I doubt that'll make anything, but you know. I can try. Okay. Play on quickly go out of the party. Let's put Lapis and Douchebagel in. Sure. Lapis Store. Yeah. And just like the other one, you have to pay to get your Pokemon out once you do. But the Pokemon eggs don't cost anything to get them, so that's good. So I could technically leave those guys in there until the level 100 and never take them out either. That's nice, isn't it? I know. Anyway, yeah. Let's get Zero back out. Draw, and there we go. So yeah, that's how they work. Maybe by the time we're done with this place, whenever that is, we'll have Pokemon Egg. Oh, for a second, I thought as soon as I would walk out, I would get one. But anyway, let's check in this house. Um, what are you two doing? What are you boing? What? We're having a body slide match to see who wimps out first. If you go and join us, you'd be squashed like a bug, though. How about I teach body slam to a Pokemon of yours instead? So, you can teach Body Slam to one of your Pokemon, it's not that useful, I don't think. I'm not going to teach it to one of them, really. Hello, Granny. Lorelei has returned. Did she find the city life too stressful, I wonder? So yes, the person who has returned to this island and has this as her home is Lorelei. Giggle, I, <laughs> I collect a ton of stickers. I wish I could show them off. Oh, excellent, you've come to the right place. Look, look, see, see, these are my stickers. Look how many I got. I bet you want some. I bet you do. I'll give you a sticker if you could tell me something awesome about yourself. What are you beg about? Eh, I became Pokemon League Champion. Oh wow, you made it into the Hall of Fame. That's pretty good. Yep, I'll give you one of these. Hall of Fame sticker was applied to the trainer card. Okay, so this just trainer card and then that little sticker in the upper left right there is how it is. So what it is, rather. So yeah. And actually, I just realized on the back of my trainer card, I ne 
people actually did something in Celebin City, which is you could take pictures of your Pokemon, uh, your current team. So yeah, That's something interesting. Hello. Oh, you found me. Please don't tell Lorelei. Did you know that Lorelei has lots and lots of stuffed dolls? Every time she comes back to Polar Island, her collection grows. Interesting. Let's go into her house. Is she in here? I wonder. No, but she has a lot of dolls and it's creeping me out. And run! Run out! Run! Run! Okay, and then there's a spot back here. Which we can surf and get that item. That looks cool. You found one Stardust. Okay, what's up here, I wonder? Hello. Ooh, chili. I made a slushy using ice I shaved inside Icefall Cave. It's chilly and tasty. Okay, Icefall Cave. Then let's go inside. So, this place is just a giant ice physics dungeon, basically. But there's also some interesting things here, as we'll see. And, you may see... Look, there's a waterfall. Interesting. That couldn't be of any importance whatsoever. So, it's not exactly ice physics yet, but what you see here is when you step over a panel, it breaks. Once. And you can only step on it twice. And also here, we have a new Pokemon. It's right up. So, this is obviously going to have ice type Pokemon and such. So, uh... Oh, but another interesting thing about Swine Up is that it is also part ground, so thunder moves won't work on it, or electric moves. So yeah, itch my head. Ah, I got an itch. Okay. Well, Swine Up's dead. Okay. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of random battles, so I think I'm just gonna use a Max Appel and get rid of the random battles. Okay. What is this? You found an Ultra Ball. That's somewhat useful. Okay, and then I believe, which hole do we want to fall down? I believe it is this hole. And if you didn't see, I just ran over it twice. Okay, let's go up the ladder. And then... Fall down this hole. Is this the right one? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so we go here, 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 here. Here, here. Oh, we missed the item there. Ah, oh, no. Oh, well, here's an item right here. It's in 7, it contains a waterfall. So, that's another hidden machine which teaches waterfall to a Pokemon. Now, what waterfall does is obviously what it says it does. It gives waterfall the ability to climb waterfalls. And where does this go? That goes there, that's useless. I want to get that one item. I don't care how long it takes, and it will probably take a while. Okay. Can't get it from this side, I know that. Okay, fall on here then. Oh yeah, and then there we go. Find, found one Never Melt Ice. What a Never Melt Ice does is it raises the power of ice type moves, so... That's useful if you if you have an ice type on your team, which I don't. I mean, I have Cookie, so I could actually probably give it to him. But he has the Quick Claw, and I think that's good for him. Oh, no, let's go this way. So we can escape. There we go. And now, obviously, we need to teach Waterfall to a Pokemon. And that's where Cat comes in. And that that's actually good that I didn't get um, the Hydro Cannon before, so now, Drago could also learn it, which I think is weird, but I want Cat to learn it, because it's a water type, so it it'll, it'll get stabbed, then plus torn, plus, you know, so let's get rid of Water Gun, Waterfall is 80 power, so it's really good, but the only downside about this is now Cat has three um, HMs, so the only... And I don't think I explained this earlier, but HMs can only be removed through the move deleter, which I don't know if there's one in this game, actually. There might be. I believe there is, but if there is, I don't know where he is. Uh, so, Bite is the only one I can get rid of if I want to move. So, climbing up the waterfall here. Nice music. And then, look, more ice physics and such. Oh, hello. Keep your filthy hands on the Pokemon in this cave. Do as I say, or you'll have 
me to answer to. Ah, shut it, lady, and leave us be. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Cassio, what are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Let me help me kick these poachers out before they do anything else. They've been catching Pokemon here and then selling them off. Are you ready? Take out that one, please. What? Who says we can't do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? And we get a battle team rocket grunt with Zubat. That's fun. And let's just Thunderbolt it in the face. <laughs> and another Zubat. Let's Thunderbolt it in the face as well. Oh, and actually go bad, not a zoo bad. Well, let's go the exact same way. You and now I'll use Thunder. Oh wow, it hit. Amazing. And we kill go bad. Hooray! Ah, oh, Drago didn't get level up. We didn't plan on this. Hmm. So despicably weak. You, tell me. Where have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'm smashing your ring once and for all. N no way, I'm not telling you that. If you won't confess, we'll defreeze you. My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go, Lapras, Ice Beam. Whoa, Lorele. Calm down there. Ah, it's okay, I'll talk. The Pokemon are in the Rocket Warehouse on Five Island. There, I said it. We'll be going now. But I doubt you'll even make it into the Rocket Warehouse. Hehehehe. <laughs> Cassio, thank you, but this is awful. I was born and raised here on these islands. I had no idea that those horrible criminals were loose here. So, now we know the location of the Rocket Warehouse located on five islands, so that is really useful. So, yeah, we are going to be saving that for next time. So, next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we are going to Five Island to take on the Rocket Warehouse. This is Coach Cassio, signing out. Have a great day, everybody.